Hello everyone, Dad here back again with another video. So today we're going to take a look at uh, how to save battery on uh, S8 ports with uh, Samsung Galaxy S7 and S7 Edge. So 99% uh, of these tweaks are going to be into the setting apps, so uh, be sure to check it out and also go to connections. So uh, the first thing is uh, going to connections, Wi-Fi and then on advanced, be sure that the smart network switch is off. This will also uh, save you uh, data. The next thing is going to data usage and details and over here you just uh, click on the applications that uh, you want to turn off uh, background uh, data usage. So for example if I want to turn it off for Google Photos you just click over here and it's not going to use any data in the background and as soon as you connect to a Wi-Fi then uh, you're going to have uh, your notifications and everything back. Also, uh, after installing every ROM, uh, when you go to more connection settings, uh, nearby device scanning is turned on by default, so also be sure to click that off. The next things are in location, so when you go to location, be sure that uh, into unproof accuracy everything is turned off and that uh, Google location history is turned off. This is the biggest uh, battery drainer in the history of Android, so be sure that uh, it's turned off. Next, uh, let's go to display. Um, there is uh, it, it is said that auto brightness uh, uh, sums uh, sucks at uh, your battery. It uh, drains it, but uh, I used to uh, leave it on. And uh, personally, for me, I don't like uh, swiping and uh, changing my brightness. This isn't uh, me, so uh, I'm leaving it uh, turned on. But if you want, you can turn it off. Next, go to screen mode and uh, choose whatever mode you want uh, besides the adaptive display. So when I'm not on adaptive display, I'm on AMOLED cinema because it, uh, it has at least for me the best colors. But uh, right now I'm uh, leaving it on adaptive display and also over here on SAC 23 ROM at least. I'm not sure about the others. You can uh, change uh, the color uh, balance over here and there are also advanced options and uh, you can uh, even deep uh, dive into this. Uh, the next thing uh, probably isn't here, so uh, of course turning off uh, synchronization over here and turning off your location as well as always on display and all the connection settings is going to save your battery but these are things that uh, at least in my opinion should be turned off because otherwise why buy this phone if you're not going to using its features. The same goes for the LED indicator. So the next thing, uh, probably keeping uh, screen turned off. Uh, so this is uh, when you, when you have it turned on, and when it's like that, you can see that there is this notification that the screen will turn off automatically in five seconds. So uh, here it is. So right now I'm using the face unlock, which is my favorite new feature of Sac 23s ROM. The next thing is uh, using dark wallpaper, this is going to save you battery as well as uh, dark themes. So the dark themes that I have over here are uh, this one. So the first one is uh, modern black, the next one is black edition version 2, the third one is material black and the fourth one is a custom one that I'm not going to show you because it's not available in the team store. So next going to advanced uh, features, uh, be sure to turn off and uh, Spend at least 5 to 10 minutes to those features and take a look at every one of them and um, that you're sure uh, whether you're going to use and uh, you're not going to use. So uh, take uh, your time over there and uh, be sure to uh, turn off everything that you're not going to use. Next is going to device maintenance and to the battery section. So over here you have uh, those three uh, power saving modes. Next you can go and uh, take a look at S power planning. These are uh, S power planning are those three features. So this one at least I'm not sure how it uh, works, but uh, it isn't putting you in a power saving mode. But uh, it says that it uh, is extending your battery time. I'm not sure what it does. Uh, I searched on the internet, but uh, uh, nothing showed up. So uh, also put uh, the applications that you're not using so often to sleep by clicking on uh, the save power button and uh, when you're into device maintenance be sure to uh, click uh, this button over here I'm not sure when it says when there isn't uh, a problem so uh, next is uh, uninstalling all uh, the applications that uh, you're not uh, using this is something uh, really normal under walk screen settings I don't think that there is anything that uh, could save your battery next is uh, going to quote and accounts if you want to save data as well, be sure to go into Samsung Cloud, then click on the 3 dot menu, settings, 
and then sync using Wi-Fi only. Be sure to turn all of those on because um, if, if it's turned off, it's using mobile data to synchronize uh, your, uh, for example, contact calendars and uh, the other stuff. This is uh, something that is going to drain your battery. So uh, basically, these are uh, the most uh, the things that are going to really save you battery over here. So if you want to take a look at your battery, you know uh, that you just should go to power saving and uh, click and hold on it, then to battery usage and over here, take a look at what's draining your battery and uh, be sure to deal with it. So it's uh, the best if your screen is on the top and uh, after that Android system, uh, if you charge your device, charge your device to 100%, drain it and when it's on probably one or 2%, take a look at uh, Android system. So. Uh, that you know uh, how much of a battery it is uh, draining you so you can see for me when uh, I'm on 55% it's draining me about 3% so on 100% uh, it drains me about 7-8% uh, so uh, be sure that it's uh, like that otherwise there are there is some problem kernel, kernel problem and uh, be sure to deal with it uh, so basically this is uh, how to save battery on uh, Actually, Samsung Galaxy S8 and as well as on uh, all S8 ports that are available for uh, the other devices. So uh, if you like this video, be sure to click that subscribe button if it helped you. If you have any questions, uh, be sure to uh, leave them down below into the comment section. And also, thank you for watching. Uh, and uh, again, if you like the video, be sure to click that like button. It uh, keeps me motivated. So uh, thank you for watching again and see you soon.